Okay, now we are going to do the molar bite wing. And these are, um, what we're doing now is horizontal, uh, not vertical. So with the molar, our key contact is between the first and second maxillary molar. So we are going to get our angle. We're going to put the cotton swab in between the first and second maxillary molar and we're going to get our angle and then we're going to bring the BID over and we're going to match up that angle so it's perfectly parallel and then I'm going to swing the bar not moving my head, the head of the the tube head I'm going to move the whole arm to move the the BID back but I don't want to change the angle so I'm not going to touch that lower part and then I can take away the Q-tip and I'm going to put in the sensor and for this one, we're going to have the patient bite. We want the center of the second, we want to go for the second molar, have that be in the center of the sensor. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see visually. But we want the second molar to be in the center of the sensor. Then we have the patient bite down. And again, this kind of slopes. We don't want it to slope with people typically, but see how it drops? So we don't really like that because that's going to give us a placement error but I'm just going to keep moving forward. And then we bring this back and it's at the same angle that it was when I brought the Q-tip over. And I'm going to... I can tell just by looking that this is way, way, way too low. So I'm going to pause the film and play with it a minute and see what's going on. And then we'll resume it. Okay, so I fussed with this a little bit off camera. And from when I paused it until when I started the video again, if you rewind, you might notice that now the BID is, look, you can tell that it's much more centered with the maxillary and mandibular teeth before it was like, looked like it was almost down here. So the moral of the story is that each Dexter is very different and when we're practicing we are going to have to kind of um, kind of fuss with them a little bit um, and so it's it's good for practice and to understand basic placement but these sometimes can give us a little bit of trouble and so we do have to sometimes find the perfect place to place the sensor to have Dexter bite on. Um, but this is roughly what it should look like. Um, I did take the picture and my contacts are a little bit overlapped. So when I tried to compensate for a good um, placement, my horizontal angulation closed. So we could, you know, we might have to do get open the contacts but have a placement error or vice versa. But I did kind of have to fiddle with it. I brought it forward a little bit. I think I had it back farther and it dropped down, so I brought it forward a little bit more and that allowed Dexter to bite on it more evenly. So that's the molar placement.